Here we go. Let's watch a couple from the games. So we're running an inside zone play to the right. We got a two eye on the right. So we got a single to a plus linebacker. This is exactly what we're looking for. Guards a set a lift player. Center's on the near number. Linebacker commits, whether it's a pressure or whatever, it doesn't matter to me. He hit the B gap exactly like we wanted him to, and we come off, and we got him. So there it is. Again, the RPOs we'll talk about in the, uh, in the next deal. Okay, here we go in the Q&A. Let's watch the center and a left guard. Left guard's a set a lift player. Set a lift. Center's on the near number. Could be a little lower. Center's a little high. Center loses his helmet. He doesn't care. If you met Landon, he could care less. He keeps playing. This one ends up being a throw, but you can see we're getting pretty good movement there on the two out. Here we go. Let's watch this right guard, right tackle. Right guard's the set of lift player. Right tackle, open your hips. Strike the near number. Now, work to the far number and get vertical. There's your movement. And you can see how this is going to unfold. If we give this ball, it should roll right back off that three technique. Sometimes you have the Heisman Trophy winner on the outside and you want to throw it to him. Okay, here it is on the left again. Left guard is a settle lift player. Center's on the near number. Center's got to snap off. Okay, this linebacker wasn't really very committal, but he snapped off. Here's another one. Here's a good snap off by the center. Okay. Here's an important, here's a little subtlety. Anytime we are in a shoulder blocking situation, like the left guard is, the left guard is a set of lift player. If this defender two gaps me, I have to transition to hands. We don't ever shoulder a head up defender because it gets really awkward in a hurry. So I tell the players, if you're thinking set a lift and this guy runs down the middle of you, you have to transition to hands, which he does. And now you're going to see the center is going to snap off. He feels this guy moving that way. He snaps off on the linebacker. Pretty good. Okay, let's watch this one. Totally understand. Okay, let's watch the right guard, right tackle. Right guard's a set of lift player. Set a lift. There it is. Okay, so there it is. So here's my right tackle. He hit the near number. Now, work to the far number and get vertical. There it is. Keep working. Keep working. Open your hips. Strike the near number. Work to the far number. If you get there, get vertical. Then the ball rolls back. Obviously, left guard not doing a great job. Center and the right guard. Right guard's a set a lift player. The two eye moves out. He's got to transition to hands. Transition to hands. Now, risk this time, because it was such a dramatic move, that center's got to make sure he doesn't drift. He's got to get to that linebacker. Be direct. And then watch the center. The center knows this is a best cut, no cut, roll it back play. So he knows to leverage the block. That is defining the cut for the runner. It's a really nice job by 79 of understanding how we're running this inside zone play. And people have different, I know people run different versions of it. Some people run inside zones that are really closer to being mid zones, or some people run inside zones that go to the inside leg of the play side guard, but those are different plays. This, this is not that play. So this play for us is a best cut, no cut, roll it back play. Okay, let's watch the right guard, right tackle here. No different than what I said before. If the color disappears, he's going to use hands. He's going to snap the hip. Watch this. Snap, climb. So I don't have any color to fit into. This defender is moving with the guard. So I'm not just going to go to the second level. I'm going to snap this guy off before I go to the second level, just like the center did when he snapped off. There it is. Okay, what about when you have a shade? Okay, and we, don't, we practice this a lot. We actually don't, it doesn't show up a lot for us. 
but we do practice it quite a bit. Here's what I'm going to tell you about when you are singling or doubling, whatever you want to call this, double inside zone, double team on a play side shade. What you don't want to do, so we're going, the left guard and the center are going to 32. We are going to plus the mic. Now, this motion we knew would bring somebody back in, so it's not a surprise to us. The guard is still going to set a lift. The center, he's covered, going to hit him down to the middle. And the guard is just going to take the edge off. And we are going to try and move this guy vertically. But here's what we're not trying to do. We are not trying to knock this guy into the backside A gap. Because then the backside guard is going to get picked off from getting to 17. Or the tight end on the insert in this particular situation is going to get picked off trying to go through the A gap. We are not trying to put 99 in the backside A gap. That's not what we're trying to do. Because if we understand the play, we want horizontal movement on the front side and then vertical movement on the back side. So just be conscious of that when it's, a, when it's a shade because my younger players always make that mistake. They want to just go shoulder punch that guy and kill him. It's not what we want. Now, this 99 character is about 370. So you better get it. You better get your pads down when you're blocking this one. So that doesn't come up a lot for us, but it 